About time a good thread popped up. What is this? Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Imagine how bored people have to be back then they actually waste all their time, like, drawing this dumb shit. I really want to believe life is worth living. It really isn't. It's just people are usually too killed, to, too scared to kill themselves. Like, if religion was real and there actually was an afterlife and people knew there was an afterlife, people would drop dead like flies. Like, there'd be nobody fucking left. Who wouldn't kill himself if he knew there was an afterlife? If that's why God, like, purposely keeps it vague. Because he knows if he actually did come down and tell everyone, you, you know, the afterlife exists and all that shit, everyone would just fucking kill themselves to go there. Because actually living on Earth fucking blows. You gotta play dumb shit like fucking mods on and get raped in the ass. Uh, and be able to give or create a purpose for myself, but don't know how. Yeah, good luck with that. There's, what, 7 billion people out there? You're worth fucking nothing. You're literally dust in the wind. That's why everyone has depression and all that shit now. Because there's... There's, like... You'll, you'll never be as famous as actual famous people. Like, in order to feel like you're not, like, completely fucking alone, you have to know, you have to be fucking famous and be known by millions, but that's never gonna fucking happen for the average person. Now that we have the internet, you're constantly comparing yourself to, like, the top 0.1% of, of society. Whereas back in the old days, like, you could always feel good because you'd be comparing yourself to the town idiot. Because you'd be a big fish in a small pond. Because back in those days, nobody fucking left where they were born. Like, you never moved more than, like, ten miles. God, I feel like I'm having a goddamn stroke. Like, half of my fucking body is numb right now. I don't know why. Probably because I'm sitting weird. Uh, it's been so long. Wait, let me... Just fucking... Hold on. This fucking Mahjong Soul thing, my title is pissing me off. Let me change that. Fuck that stupid fucking game. Where was I? Uh, I don't know how it's been so long since I felt hope for the future. Currently I'm saving money till I can fly to America and kill myself. Why would you come here? Haven't you played Fat Guy Simulator? This place fucking sucks. I don't really want to die, I think, but I certainly don't want to live 60 or 70 more years of this. I like how he's, like, like, not even giving us as a background. He just says he wants to die. Like, what does, he, what does he expect us to do? How do you figure life is worth living? How do you find slash create purpose? It all seems so futile and arbitrary for me, basically, a secular Buddhist for context. Oh, is this guy actually Japanese? Or is he just one of those fucking weebs that converted the Buddhist? Or Buddhism? I had to drink my almond milk. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. How do you find slash create purpose? You don't. You're born with it. Like, basically, if you're at my point and you're still a directionless pedophile, you're fucked. Like, you gotta have good genes and your parents have to, like, guide you into doing something useful with your life. Which they never fucking do. Which is why... People are fucking declaring their pronouns in their fucking Twitter profiles now. Nobody fucking knows what they're supposed to do. Like I said, there's like 7 billion people, so you're never gonna mount anything, like, of note. You're never gonna be in a history book. There'll be people in history books, but... As there's more and more people on Earth, the chances of you being in a history book are... Exponentially worse. Like, back in the year, like, 0 BC, like, Jesus Christ... He was famous because there was only, like, two or three other dudes out there. So, of course, everyone fucking knew him. But these days, of 7 billion people, nobody's gonna fucking know who you are. Unless you win the lottery. And these days, winning the lottery is... You know, picking the right cryptocurrency. 